out of my bed. They knock on the side of the door and say, time now to get up. So I think a joke thing. I mean, I even know who. So I say, what the hell are you calling me out? I wake me up so early for. So I come out and I think I'm one of my friends. But when time I come out, I realize I see a bag of police and someone. So I say, hold on then. I, I walk my sense with them. I come move my sense. All right. Let me check out my things them. I want to do all no more to do. The police tell him them, lick down everything and fling out everything. Two of the youth them to me say, all right, now I have to fuck up whatever. First, I'll crack where you have left back. I will put the French and them you. So I give me some back. So I give him some back and he start help with. But one of the police them say, show out every thing out here. So that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the speech that he's making up with the bad word. That's, that's the extra. Now, the argument that's what he said. And there's a lot when they when they start to war because you must have my mother my mother follow up the things that she offered she married and so come make them start. Tell me say, all right, stay here some money. Me I gonna make them move out and another police come and say, take out our things them and don't don't let them pull out everything out of your house and don't take them out. So then the police tell us to take out everything out of it and put one side. Don't mash up our things them because me and them start war in here. I'm living on the house for 34 years, I'm 34 years old. I was born and raised right here. My mother was born and raised right here. She did not long So your relatives are sugar workers? Yes, sir. My grandfather was a, a sugar worker all the years I'm like. And I'm dead gone. So I'm dead here a long time. I'm not squat here, so I'm right here, so we live. And, I, and the sugar company gave my grandfather the place and him deal up on it. Mr. Shukir and we have a, have a, have a meeting. Mr. Shukir agree with us to go down there, so. We, uh, we told Mr. Shukir about some places where we would have good access to water. Mr. Shukir uh, disagree with everywhere else we give him, but him said down there, so we have to go. Where? White Road, Makukspen. So we agree with him and say, right, what you agree with? So we have a big thing. What, what kind of house you have to go for the poor house? So Mr. Shukir, a food for the poor house, the bathroom and the kitchen is right next to my house. There's a virus going around, we cannot work with that. And so one time we don't get the one who want to do with it. So we get the key, so we start drawing a kitchen. Just to have a little part there, right? so to cook different parts of the bathroom. I thought you don't have a problem with that. When them give me the key, no light down there, no water. So we get back to him, him say, all right, then my string light. When him do string light, then take the key them and when them do down string light, then give it back to so him for move certain time. The bathroom them not flush. The tile them not flush, the bathroom them water not run out. So when did you actually got this notice to move from here? Wednesday. And they told you to move when? Friday, yesterday. And you did not get a chance to move? We never signed the paper because the whole thing is not, not, not finished and they not come back down, they come fix nothing. So how? And the roofs them are leaking and everything. And then nothing is done. done. I fix me, I fix up the place. What may I go do now? Look, see me tell them and something in so I may I go to the place, but... See there? See there? And I like when I make preparation to move. We are look bold for move. As you can see, we just have... Sort out myself and forget the running water because Mr. Shakir promised me running water. My concern is that uh, this is totally unacceptable in, in the 21st century. We must deal with people better than this. Because as you can see, all the items for the persons are on the ground. The houses are totally demolished. They have nowhere to sleep tonight. They're going to have to be catching with people and so on and so forth. We cannot be doing this at this time. This is totally irresponsible, unacceptable. I would cannot allow this to continue going on. I've reached out and escalated the matter to other persons within the party. I will be pouring some time and to see how best we can resolve the matter. And we have reached out to SCJ. I personally have written to Mr. Shakir for him to intervene. When, when I got the message that they're coming to, to destroy the property, I haven't gotten any responses yet. Um, I've emailed him, I've personally dropped off the letter, I've called him, I haven't gotten any response. As soon as he gets back to me, we see how best we can help the people because we cannot allow people to live like this. This is, I cannot imagine myself in this situation. So we can't afford to do this to people. All persons' lives matter, irregardless whether you think they're poor or they're disadvantaged or whatever. We have to deal with people in a civilized matter. We are trying to make ourselves comfortable. God, good God, they couldn't give a little time for done. Eh? Your hands on me question. Mr. Prime Minister, when you say this, you might have 